Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I have excruciating back pain today, but that's not the point of the video. Today, I wanted to go through all of my inbox Monster High dolls that I can currently access, because there's some that I cannot, because they're stored away in the closet of doom over there. Speaking of, the reason I want to make this video is because we went through the closet of doom yesterday, my mom and I. Um, yeah, I was waiting for my camera to focus. Um, she listed like 50 Barbies on eBay. You guys are welcome to check that out. I'll give a link in the description. But um, we went through the closet and I rediscovered a lot of inbox dolls. And I wanted to show off what I'm able to. Because some of the things did get put back into the closet of doom, but others did not. So with that, this very long intro out of the way, um, let's get right into it. Starting with everything that I have in the doll room that is in the box and a Monster High doll. So let's begin. One of the first things I have for you guys is this iHeart Fashion Iris doll. This was actually one of the main things I was looking for because I knew I had her in the box. Iris is one of my favorite characters. I have her Comic Con doll. She was one of the she was one of the first ones I ever got actually. Actually, she was my first Comic Con doll. And then I waited a year for her iArt fashion, and my mom bought this one, but she's basically mine because I am the Iris fan. <laughs> so when I knew we had her, we had to dig her out of the closet of doom, and I'm glad that we did because I love her. The next one is my black and white Frankie. Yeah. I have several more up here, but they're going to be hard to get to because of all the dolls I have in front of them, so I'm just going to tell you who they are. We start with... um. Uh, ghoul spirit Frankie and right behind her is my good um, ghouls rule Claudine I think there's something behind Claudine yeah that's supposed to be classrooms Frankie you know the home ick one I also have a 2010 Frankie there's a frights camera action operetta behind that Harley Quinn doll I have an Ever After High doll there, and then here we have my inbox Rebecca, Rebecca and Hexakaya Comic Con 2 pack. I never unbox them because of the way their box is. It's just a piece of plastic stuck to cardstock, and it would have been impossible to save, and I didn't want to destroy the box, so I just kind of left them in it. Next inbox doll is Dracula. I haven't opened her yet, and she's just been sitting here on the floor. Next up is my 2010 Claudine. I found her at the flea market this year, actually, like at the beginning of this year for $15. She's damaged, but she was 15 bucks and a flea market find, so I felt like a massive legend for finding her. Pretty cool to have. Um, my next one is my collector, Draculaura, who I have had since she came out. My mom talked me into getting her while she was still only... I think she was either 40 or $50 when she came out. I honestly don't remember. But she was cheap, and that was the reason I got her, and I'm very glad I did. This doll was really expensive online, and it's crazy. Next up are the dolls that I have in the Closet of Doom, and I've gotta keep it real with you guys. I can't access them because they're all in this box, but I can tell you who I remember having. We have the 2015 reproduction of Frankie Stein in there, um, the original Frankie. We also have Scarnival, um, Skeleta, Ghoul's Fair Scara, um, Scaris Skeleta. My mom has every Skeleta. She's a very big Skeleta fan, so every Skeleta doll is in this box. Um, my Cree productions are in this one, as well as my new inbox Cleoli, who I got at the flea market recently. Uh, we also have Frightfully Tall Draculaura right there, and Frightfully Tall Elisabeth is right underneath. They're both brand new in the box and never been removed. I also have this uh, Monster High Pop figure, as well as my Abbey Vinyl figure. And here's my tattoo variant Rock Angels Chloe, just for fun. I know she's not Monster High, but I love her. I like to show her off. Next comes all the stuff in the loft, and you guys can ignore that. This is all the stuff my mom's selling on eBay. <laughs> um, this is where all of my Monster High dolls are kept. The ones that are still accessible, they're in this bin. So. Let's start pulling them out one by one. So this is what you see the moment you open it. I have not one, but two inbox zombie gagas. And the reason for that is because she was only 40 bucks when she came out and my mom was like, damn, that's cheap as shit. So she bought three. I actually mentioned that in my zombie gaga review, which is one of like the oldest videos on my channel. It's a pretty good review, I think, except for when I start screaming. I did that a lot in my old videos. 
I have this sweet 1600 Frankie who, uh, take a second to guess where, you, where I got her. Got her at the flea market. <laughs> My flea market guy is awesome. Um, I also have this art class, Abby, who I got at a thrift store. Uh, she was very cheap. <laughs> and of course I've always kept her because it's Abby. My next one, I have to move sweetheart Megan, is this Gloom and Bloom Katrine. I've actually posted her on my Instagram before. I post my inbox collection on Instagram a lot. I mostly do that because it's like, hey guys, look at my inbox dolls. Aren't they cool? Um, that's zombie. Here is another art class, Galeta. We actually have two of her, but I got this one at the same thrift store as Abby, which is why she's in there. I have this dance class Laguna new in box, who I, of course, got at the flea market. And I've left her in box to make up for the fact that I destroyed one to turn her into an Undyne custom from Undertale. One of my cringiest moments, honestly. This next one is a black carpet doll, and it is, again, Laguna. I actually don't remember where I got this one. Oh, yeah, it was the little thrift store. <laughs> I actually got an Elizabeth in new in box the same day as this one, but I unboxed Elizabeth because I had been wanting her, like, forever. So... I left Laguna in the box, but I unboxed a whistle bat. Honestly, it should have been the other way around. We also have this Goliope Jellington, who my mom got at Toys R Us for $5. Monster High sales used to go insane when they were in stores. Uh, this is Mercedes King from Boo York, Boo York. Got her at the thrift store for $7.50. This is the only Mercedes doll I own, and it will stay that way because I don't really like Mercedes. Uh, shit, how did she? Yeah, she fit right there. Next up is this um, Freaky Fusions cosplay doll. I got her at the flea market for like $10 from my guy. I swear, I bought all of his inbox dolls. <laughs> but um, this is the one where Frankie is dressed like Claudine. This Freaky Fusion doll is my Claw Venus, who I actually got at a different thrift store for $6. This is my only Claw Venus doll, and I'm going to keep it that way. I kept her in the box because I kind of really like the box art. She looks more appealing in the box art than she does as a doll, so gotta leave her in the box. Next up is a Scaris doll, and this is my Scaris Gulia. Got her at the flea market, and I left her in the box ever since. I really like her. This is actually one of the cutest budget Gulias. She's adorable. Next up is my Haunted River Sticks. I got this doll at the flea market because of... No, I got this one at the thrift store. Um, my thrift store does a special Black Friday sale, and that's usually where I get most of my dolls. And I've always loved River. One of my favorites. I also have Kiyomi right here. Kiyomi is also one of my number one favorites, so very happy to have three of her. I have one in box and two out of box. Back here is where my collector Abby is. I also have Batsy Claro, who I found at the thrift store. She was about $8. I have Legacy Date Maddie, but she's not included in this video. I also have Kirsty from the same line as Batsy. The only one I don't have in box from this line is EC, but I thrifted both Kirsty, Kirsty and um, Batsy, so that's fun. I don't know if I showed off Luna, but I have Luna as well. Um, I've also posted her on my Instagram, trying to put Katrine's box back together. This one back here is another one of my Scaris dolls. I got her at the flea market, and it is my Scaris Rochelle. I've never bought this doll again because I have her in box. And, uh, yeah, that's why I've never bought her again. A bit wonked out, but she's in box, so who cares? And that is all my inbox dolls in this specific container. I have another one right next to it, though, so... Let's take a peek at what's in there. I have a feeling there's not many Monster Eye dolls in here, but we do have my Bradzilla's Megana, my mom's Tokidoki Barbie, uh, Yasmin. Uh, yeah, there's not many Monster High dolls in here. We have my Ever After High Spring Unsprung Lizzie playset, brand new in box. She's like 17 bucks on Mercari. I basically had to buy it. Um, have my thrifted birthday bash, Chloe flea market of course we have my pampered pups chloe also flea market um birthday ba birthday ball cedar mercari yeah that about does it for what's in here 
I uh, just gotta get Chloe to lay down again. Yeah, so no monster dolls in there. Sorry, my mom calls them monsters. I know it's Monster High. I've been collecting these dolls since I was like 12. This bin here only has my Goliope laying on top. As far as I'm concerned, there's no Monster High dolls in there. So next we move on to my other closet of doom. You guys are getting a fun little house tour today. We're in the guest room today because this is the closet where a lot of our dolls go. This is one of my mom's Barbies. But we have a lot of Mattel Creations dolls up there. Um, you know, I don't, I'm kind of short. I don't think I'll be able to reach those, but I'll tell you what they are. I have every Haunt Couture doll in box, so those are up there. In addition to that, there's also these collectors like Greta, um, Beetlejuice. Pennywise is in here somewhere. I don't have the twins. I got rid of them. They were too expensive and not worth it. But in here we have some more Monster High dolls. Um, we've got Scarnival Skeleta. So, okay, she's in here. Black and White Frankie, the Friday the 13th version. Another Collector Abbey. I didn't know I had more than one. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea I had more than one. I thought I sold my, du my doubles. But um, I have a bunch, apparently. There's also... Oh, that's one of my witchy princesses from Bratzilla's. Um, very difficult to get in here. You know, I think we might have covered all my inbox dolls. The rest of them are all sealed away. So this is Haunt Couture Frankie. This is Beetlejuice. Um, that is Haunt Couture Claudine. Oh yeah, uh, both of my Gretas are in this Monster High PR box because had to use it for something if I'm gonna keep it. Um, this one down here. What are you? <laughs> it doesn't say what it is. Okay, I don't know. Um, all my Haunt Couture dolls came in good condition. By the way, I didn't get any of those defects. Uh, Ow! It's landed on my fucking foot. Ouch. What are you? Why do these ones not have words on them? Okay, no words, I guess. I don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, um, I didn't just keep this box, by the way. My Haunt Couture PR box is in here somewhere. I just shoved in the very back. Mm. This is a hard video to make. Oh, I kept my PTMI dolls box, by the way. Uh, Candy's box is right here. And here's my last one, my extra ghoul's rule, Claudine, who I promise I'll make a review of. I'll do it today. <clears throat> so with that, we're back in the doll room. That was my full inbox collection from what I could actually reach. Sorry, this video was kind of untraditional. It was fun to make. I like showing you guys my collection because at the end of the day, I'm a collector. It's what I do, it's what I'm passionate about. So showing it off to people who are interested is always a lot of fun. I basically use my Instagram account as a big archive. I take pictures of my inbox dolls, show them off, tell the story of how I got them. That's basically what I do. Cause I remember getting every single one of my dolls, like, except for the accursed Gigi, I don't know where the fuck she came from. But yeah, it's what I do in this account. I have fun with it. And thank you all so much for watching. It's fun to pull out my dolls and reminisce. And I'm glad you guys enjoy watching that. So thank you all for watching this video. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Forgot to mention this, but all these boxes aside from this jade are empty. Um, I have to move Marisol's big ass feet so I can show you guys. But um, this Freak Du Chic Twyla box is empty. This um, Sweet Screams Abby box is empty. Lizzie's box is empty. Um, this is basically just Frankie's outer packaging, and underneath it we have other dolls from boxes that I've unboxed, like my empty Jackson box, my empty Basic Abbey box. Um, we have empty Widona's I Heart Fashion box, and at the bottom we have my empty Wonder Wolf box. So those are all empty, in case you've ever wondered what was in them. The answer is nothing. Just like the ingredient in Poe's dad's secret ingredient soup. Bye.